Well, now it's time to do a simple example of 1D backpropagation, which we're going to leverage in future lectures and more complex applications. But this really hits at the heart of the calculation in this case. Exactly. So, yeah. here we are. So again, start with simple uh, setup. Again, we have an X. We have, an, we have a W mapping. We have uh, our active output or A, and we have a Y, which we want to compare with. Yeah. Yeah. So assume this one is, for example, two. This one is two and a half, and this one should be, I don't know, three. So we want to pick somehow get a W that'll move us to the output equal to three. Exactly. Okay. So here, let's just write the equations. A equals to uh, w x which equals to 5 yep and the cost function here would be c equal to uh, y minus a squared which is like 5 minus 3 is 4 3 uh, 3 minus 5 squared which is yeah 4 uh, now we want to find uh, in which direction we should change w in order to satisfy this, reduce this cost function or satisfy right. this yeah. uh, number. So first we take, so now we are here, and take the derivative of uh, c with respect to a. So now we're going to use a little bit of chain rule, in fact, already. Uh, Probably not at this one, but, but we will get it. Oh, we'll actually. get it later. Yeah. Okay. So, y minus a. Okay. And if we just plug the number, y equals to 3, a, 5, and it would be 4. Yep. Then we want to arrive probably at here. See how should we change. W in order to change change of uh, C with respect to W. Right. Which would be change of C with respect to A. And then change of A which is with respect to W. The A. And that is the chain rule. And here it is. So we have this part pre-calculated. And for this part, we can calculate it here, d of a, dw, which is x equal to 2. two. OK, now we substitute in. Yeah, so we have this part. 2, and that one part, 4, 4 part, times 2. And okay. we have uh, eight. 8 here, 2 times 4. Yep. Now we want to change W, so we can have a eta like 0 0.1. Okay. And we want to go down the hill, so we just change W, delta W equals to minus eta dc dw. Which would be minus 0 0.1. Eight. Okay. So if we do that to W, our new W, W, T, maybe W, if new, that, new w one, new, yeah, W new, will be, be two point five minus point eight minus zero point eight, which will be one point seven. 1. 7. And now let's see the effect. So our new A would be. 1.7 point uh, multiplied by 2, which would be 3.4. So we can see that now, compared to the first one, now we get closer to y. Yes, and in fact, when we subtract 3.4 from 3, it's 0.4 squared. So it's much smaller than, much than smaller. 4. So we can see how we descend. and. As simple as it is, this is the basic piece, and you can chain these 
derivatives together for more complicated situations, which we will see in a future video. Good work. Great example.